Hello and welcome to the Christmas Countdown Show. My name is Antonia and I'm going to be counting down to Christmas with you. Today in the house we have exciting guests who are going to be telling us about Christmas and food. I know you're as excited as I am. Food is very, very important to me. We'll take a short break and when we return, we'll dive right in and meet our guests. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is still the Christmas Countdown Show. And today we're talking about something exciting. This is the most important thing in the universe. And yes, 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 you can take it to the bank. We're talking about food today. And I have two important guests in the house. We have Dion Grill Boy and we have Sophia from So Cakes Hello. and Events. So how are you guys doing today? How are you doing, Dion? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing well. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Uh, that is the name, uh, that is brand name, Grill Boy. So, it's a great pleasure to, uh, to be on the show today. It's nice to have you. How are you doing, Sophia? I'm doing great. My name is Ashkol, which is Sophia. So cakes and events. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine. We're talking about something that is important to me, food. Now, this is the festive period, and I know that this is the season where people take a break. People like us take a break from yeah. our feet farm life. Yeah. We pause it and we eat as much as we want, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. after Christmas, we can resume fish farm yeah. and start looking for six packs. For those of you looking for six packs. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to ask you guys, what are your favorite things to eat during the festive period? I'll start with you, Sophia. Okay, for me, I think we should try out jello coconut rice. It's one of the best this time. Okay, yeah. okay. jello coconut rice. Right, yes. Okay, it's so okay. amazing and nice. All right, what about you, Daya? Uh, you know, I've been this season, uh, I've been uh, December where you have many reunions, hangouts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, I think what people uh, take mostly are the samosas, um, small chops, small chicken, chops. grilled chicken, grilled fish and some sort of light drinks like um, cocktails, cocktails. So, I think um, grills, people are more interested in grills in this kind of period because hangouts, they'll be having more of their time on the road, that's uh, emotion and probably beach hangout and stuff like that. Okay. So they actually want to stay on lights, light so food. Yeah, light food. Like, okay, so okay, probably okay. grills, small chops and the rest. Interesting. Sophia has said we should try jollof coconut rice. Yes. For you now, what is your favorite thing to eat during Christmas? During the festive period? Alright, alright, like I said, for me personally I'm more of a, an hangout person. Okay. So this is my season of uh, being enjoying myself with my barbecues and grills. Okay, so you're still grill boy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> grill boy is representing grill boy enterprises. So what about you, Sophia? What's your favorite thing to eat during the festive period? I'll still go for jello fries and chicken this time. Jello fries or chicken? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's right, that's right. All right, so we'll have our guests tell us about their favorite Christmas or festive period meal. Dio has said grill. He likes grills a lot. Yeah, and she, obviously. Sophia has stuck with jollof rice. I don't know why nobody's mentioning it about, but it's okay, I forgive you both. <laughs> so Dio, tell me about your favorite thing to eat during the festive period. Apart from grills that you told us about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let me go back to, aside from uh, probably a bar, but I don't, I don't really like eating a bar. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for giving the honorable mention to a bar. Uh, uh, preferably amala. Okay. That's uh, the yam flour amala. You know, we have different amala, yam flour, the cassava, and the um, ripe right plantain amala. So I still prefer going back to our local, I still prefer amala and the okay. So okay. I think I, I, I've, had, I've had an hangout like that. Is it amala, Nigusi? Uh, Eba and okra, semu and uh, I love this. I was like, wow. I was like, uh, are we, are we going for a, a physical fight festival? <laughs> or are we having an hangout? And they said, yes, they just want to change the notion of hangout and. But I, I would like that kind of hangout. Wow, that's amazing. Tell the people I, I love them. Do you have any like favorite things to eat during Christmas apart from jollof rice? I know you are the brand ambassador for jollof rice. You have yeah. said it like three hundred times, jollof yeah. rice. But is there mm. any other thing? Why want to go to Fufu? Why want to go to Pounded Yam? Any guys having malice? People are keeping malice with these things. No. What I'll still, you I'll still give it back to white rice and live chickens too. I remember those days okay. when we were very small. You know, our parents always like, it's Christmas time. That is the only time we get to kill chicken. 
Yeah. Not like this time that we'll do all this um, processed chicken. So I give it to white okay. rice and live chickens too. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. okay, all right, all right. Okay, we'll take a short break and then we'll hear from the people on the street, the voices from the street, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Um, the kind of food I eat most times that I like enjoying is jollof rice, fried rice, chicken, and most especially, I enjoy um, semo and vegetable soup. Jollof rice and chicken, obviously. That's the, that's the go-to for Christmas every time. We eat a lot. My 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 best food during Christmas is the pounded yam and the ogbono soup. And that is okaze soup, and it's prepared with molded melon. And we eat it either gari or it's just the rice and stew and chicken. Mm, to be frank, of course, the meat we all know that. We always go for the meat. Found the yam and uh, I found soup. When the aroma of stew starts popping up in the streets, that's when you see you start jumping up and down. That yeah, this is Christmas. My favorite Christmas meat is rice. You know what? The love fried rice, fried rice. You put salad, all this. Only shishi shisha. Jollof rice and chicken. Good. The smell of fried rice because I'm a really big fan of fried rice and uh, proper. Barbecued uh, chicken. Oh, just like every Christmas, is there rice. So if you go out, you try and get rice, rice and chicken. Welcome back. Those are the voices from the street talking about my favorite thing, food. And now we're back to the studio to tell you about the things we like to do for Christmas. Now we have two business people in the food business, and they're going to be telling us what the food business usually is like during the festive period. I'll start with you, Sophia. Okay. What's the food business like during the festive period? I would say it's more um, hectic, okay. stressful. Okay. That is in the stress aspect of it. And this time we make more money because we have um, high demand. We have serious high demand and we tend to add more prices in our products because of the stress and rush hours. But it's one of my best period of the year. Okay, so yes, more my work, business. more money. Yes. So I think it's the win-win. What about yeah. the diet? That's, uh, that's similar as, uh, as also, you know, uh, this is uh, the time where it's a festive season where you have uh, more orders, you have uh, more of hangout, you need to, you need to be uh, at least be divided in like 1,001 places, <laughs> just trying to meet up with uh, yeah. customers, others. Yeah. So, but this, this season is kind of uh, the best season for more of uh, event planners. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they get more orders, they get, they get to uh, give them prizes at their own area. Yeah. Well, but it, it's fine, this season is it's one of the best seasons I enjoy most yeah. And it's the festive period, Easter, December period, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh, one or two weekends for wedding. But December is at least from December 1 to 31st, you have your first time to end off. Okay, alright. Okay, we'll be rounded up very soon, but we'd we'll like you guys to give the viewers at home some advice relating to food. Do you want them to eat a lot? Do you want them to eat less? What would they eat? Thank you. Patronize you? What, 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 what advice do you have for the viewers at home? We'll start from here. Okay, for me, I would say you keep eating food, keep um, keeping me in business actually. But I would advise you know you eat by portion. You should have um, portion control. Know the time you eat. Don't just eat at any time. Like carbohydrate food is so really not good for everyone, especially especially people at age. So I think you should do less of it, more protein, vegetables, fruits, smoothies. They're so perfect. You do them, but in portion and the time matters. Okay, that you yeah. have it. That's from Sophia. She says, portion and taste yourself. Don't eat everything because you have seen everything. Yeah. And there's food everywhere. Yeah. All right, Gary, what advice do you have to give them? All right, it's just that everybody do stay um, healthy, do regular checkups, and eat uh, good food. All right. Thank you to our guests. Thank you for joining us today. There you have it from our guest this day. Eat good food. Make sure you use portion control. And from me, I'm telling you, the search for six pack is a tedious business. So watch what you eat this season. All right, my name is Antonia, and this is still the Christmas countdown show. 
see you next time. Bye for now.